y'all. You already know it's your girl, Coffee, back in the building. Why? Today is going to be a nail video, but this is going to be more so of like mm, a podcast type of vibe while I watch me do my nails. So hope y'all enjoy and you know, look at the fabulous that's going to come out. This is how we starting, but I'm pretty sure y'all really going to love what I come up with. So let's go ahead and get getting started. So the first thing that you need is some acetone and you just want to dry off your nails with that just to make sure your nail bed is dry. But let's go ahead and get into the grain the gravy, bread and butter of the conversation. So this conversation is going to be a motivational conversation just for anybody who is mentally struggling out there, physically struggling. Um, there isn't going to be any cuts or nothing. So all my oohs, uhs, buts, and what's is going to be in here because I want y'all to know that I'm really talking to y'all for real. You know what I'm saying? Real quick though, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and file on your nail bed. What this is doing is this is removing all of the excess oils and everything like that so that the nail glue and the tip can really stick. But I really, 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 really wanna talk about the importance of authenticity, um, the importance of truly being yourself. And I wanna talk about how not being yourself can get you into a lot of vicarious situations that you may not even realize um comes from you not being authentic with yourself you know i've been an authentic person since i popped out the womb baby i never cared what nobody had to say about coffee um whatever i wanted to wear say do whatever the case may have been i did it because i knew or i know who i am and i know who i want to be and i'm comfortable in that person um sadly that's not the case for everybody first things first is y'all have to stop giving a fuck about what people say like crying out loud who cares if you really sit down and you really think about it the the thing behind embarrassment the definition behind embarrassment is the thought of others if others wasn't around when you did some embarrassing shit you wouldn't be embarrassed right so you have to remove the perception of people out of your head the thoughts of yourself and other people's vision gotta go don't nobody care what nobody else say about you do about you because don't nobody live your life nobody goes home and and sleeps in your body but you you get what i'm saying so when it comes to being authentic you have to really 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 tap into who you are you have to sit down with yourself you have to figure out what do i like what do i not like what interests me what makes me me okay and it's all different from everybody else. It's okay to take inspiration from others, but it's not okay to completely 100% copy others and their creativity and their authenticity. You know what I'm saying? Um, I believe a lot of people aren't authentic in themselves due to like past situations, due to people making fun of you or people just any negative notion towards your character may have been, you know, pushed onto you. Therefore, you became scared or fearful of like, oh, I don't I don't want to do this or I don't want to do that because they may think this and they may think that when all man's reality, girl, you shouldn't have given an F from the beginning about what nobody had to say about you, baby, I promise. So I'm going to give a couple of examples just to, you know, so y'all can compare it back to y'all life. But um, I'm going to talk about my ex, my past relationship. Um, when we was messing around with each other, he would compare me to other females like no other. Like almost in a sense where it felt like he was trying to like, like bring my confidence down. But he always compared me in my swag because y'all know, as y'all can see by my like fashion and stuff like that, I obviously don't dress like the normal person. But he would always say that like my fits weren't five when it was like fits that i thought were five but every time like i put on like a bodysuit or a dress or something that was more you know societally pleasing i guess you could say he would boost it like oh you look good and it's like in the back of my head i'm like yeah but this shit's lame like <laughs> i got it basic i got that on bodysuit on and you thinking i'm looking like the kanye yeah but in my head it's like this is basic like i don't even this don't even feel like me but I continued to wear it because he liked it. And then it got down to spirituality. I was a very open spiritual person before I started messing with him. But um, every time I spoke on my spiritual stuff, he would make me feel so lame. Like, you know, I would just say little stuff, just like, you know, pointing out numbers, like OMG 333. Or um, when I had very deep conversations with him, you know, I would talk about, you know, like, 
everything boy everything under the line of spirituality and even when we was out in public together like when i went to the studio and stuff with him when i record music and stuff i would be reading up on books about spirituality and i remember one time i was in the studio and i was reading my book and literally he kind of ganked everybody up on me and everybody started laughing at me bro taking pictures and stuff like bro what is you reading bro like what is this like i'm bro and i'm just like I'm doing something that I enjoy, like this is me. But I love that man so much to the point where I put it down. I was like, well shit, like if you don't wanna be around the spiritual stuff, I'm not gonna like just bring it by him. I'm just doing it in my personal time. But little did I know it started to reflect in my personal time where I stopped being as like, you know, um, outgoing with, you know, spirituality. And it knocked me off my authenticity of myself as well. And then, you know, it goes down to her. I, when I first met him, I literally, like literally me some more days. I had half of my hair blonde, half of my hair blue. I literally call myself Blueberry Lemonade. Um, I love dyeing my hair different colors and just doing all these different type of things. But he would just say little stuff like, you know, like <laughs> almost calling like the colors in my hair childish or just, just saying what the F ever bro like when I say saying whatever I mean whatever and I started to wear more like what's the word for it um I don't even want to call it basic hairstyles because they're not basic but more I'm gonna just say bad bitch hairstyles like the bad bitch aesthetic hairstyles um because I was a big braid girl like I would slap some braids in my hair real quick or it was just like my styling was just different with my hair and like you know he would just be like, oh, like you should get a 30 inch butt down. Oh, you should get this and this and this. So that's what I started doing. I started wearing my hair and sew-ins and just trying to do everything possible to change myself so I could be more appeasing to him. During that time period, I attracted so many different people that was not my people. Like so many different friends and just situations and shit that I just normally never found myself in. I found myself in on an everyday basis because I was constantly questioning myself, constantly changing myself, constantly going back to the book and trying to rewrite my story over so that it could fit the perfect match for him. I noticed my mentality starting to go down. I noticed me going to sleep overthinking the most dumbest shit that you could think of. Like, it got to the point where I started overthinking like if I was wearing the right panties for the day or like the right socks for the day or if my thoughts were just so negative, like you're just so negative. Like, you know, just completely being thrown out of my authenticity of myself. And I noticed that everything around me started to attract the, the unauthenticism. I noticed that everything that I did was not nowhere near coffee. And I started to become depressed. I started to become so sad within myself because I just lost myself. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I even liked anymore. I, I stopped fucking skating, y'all. I didn't even skate. Like, what? Like, I didn't even skate. I, I stopped going thrifting. I stopped going to Goodwill. Um, I stopped sewing. I even stopped singing. And that's a big one for me. Like, I, never, I didn't really make music like that that much because it almost felt like every song that I made just wasn't a song that he liked. I was just completely out of whack with my authenticism. And it completely brought me people who were so low, so low vibrational, so they don't even know themselves, but they over here trying to tell me about myself, right? And Ever since I stopped fooling with him, I stopped messing with him, I've noticed a complete change in myself. I did shadow work. I completely went back to 100% coffee, everything about coffee to coffee. I became the main character in my life again, but I also reinvented my authenticity. And relearning myself completely opened up my eyes to one, how raw of a bitch I am. Let me tell y'all. I'm fucking raw and I don't talk about myself in a sense because I'm very humble and I, I hate girls that just or boys too that just talk about themselves all day long because if you really this shit it will show you don't got to talk on it but 
right now in this voiceover I'm a raw bitch, y'all. Like, for real. I'm a real talented and raw female. And as past the talents, past all of that, my personality, my character, my morals, and the principles that I hold over myself, my life, and the people in my life is raw. And I literally thought, if you want to be honest, when I was with him, I thought I was like the lamest girl on earth. I was comparing myself to everybody every day. Like, literally, literally, every day, every female I pass, I would get so sad. I'd be like, damn, her ass is fatter than mine. Damn, her boobs is bigger than mine. Like, damn, her hair is silkier than mine. It's longer than mine. Like, damn, her face structure is so much more pretty. Like, damn this, damn that. Like, oh, damn this, oh, damn that. And it's crazy that now that I just don't have that nag in my ear to change myself and instead of changing myself like girl love yourself and not only just love yourself but appreciate yourself i have never in my life been so in love with coffee it's almost as if i was so authentic before him that i didn't even appreciate my authenticity so it's almost like my authenticity had to be like taken away or fucked with for me to be able to really appreciate my authenticity. And what I mean by authenticity, I just mean my, like, I don't even know the word, like my first brain or my willpower, I don't know the word, but my authenticity is everything is me. I don't look for nobody for no inspiration or nothing. I literally wake up with ideas and creativity in my head and I get up and I move with my day trying to take the images out of my head and make them into reality you know what i'm saying like it is crazy how i didn't even realize how talented i was how beautiful of a soul i was blessed with how you know i was raised right even down to my parents like bro i got some fire ass parents who raised me so right bro raised me with character morals manners all that like and i just truly did not see that now, as I'm going through the process of, you know, releasing him from my spirit and regaining coffee, right? People start dropping off as well. And I'm like, <clears throat> why am I losing so many people? Like, girl, y'all is dropping like flies in a thing. And I remember, or not even remember, but now I just know those people weren't even a part of my frequency. The only reason why they was around was because I was still vibrating off that same effing frequency. I was still low. I was low vibrational. I was negative. I was sourpuss. I'm going off on everybody. I'm everybody needs to move from around me or I'm gonna shoot it like wop, wop, wop. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it was just crazy how I was. I was just so negative. And before him, I was like the most positive person on the earth. Like Leary. Any person I passed by, I wanted to show them love. I have so much love in my body, y'all. Y'all. I got so much love in my body that it got to a point where my brain couldn't even process negativity. And then I got with this douchebag and I'm like, dude, I hate everybody. F the world. Everybody can literally die. Die, 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 die. Like that was literally like my prerogative when I was with him because I was just so depressed within myself. I just hated that I wasn't the perfect girl for him. And I wanted to change everything about me so that I could become the perfect girl for him when literally, bro, he don't even know who he is within himself. You know, it's just crazy. But... All in all, I'm saying all of this to say, once I gained my authenticity back to power the world, off, okay, don't mind that power off, y'all. But once I gained, regained my authenticity back, I said I would never shut up about it ever again. I will never shut up about it ever again. When I say, y'all, if somebody don't mess with how you look, how you dress, or how you act, it has nothing to do with you and it has everything to do with the fact that they are just not for you and that is okay. So billion MFers on this earth and if y'all think that every person on this earth is for you, you're delusional and you need to hop out your delusion. Everybody isn't made for you. That's why we have different people on earth because it's different people for different people. Get what I mean? And Alyssa was my first friend back out of like my delusional state of being with that man right she was my first fresh friend like the friend that i met when i the first friend that i met after being done with that dude 
the reinsurance and everything that that girl gives me of how raw of a person I am just let me know that I was really, really swimming in the deep end with people who is unauthentic to themselves. Like when I say Alyssa boosts the alt, like the alt, I'm about to say autism, not autism, authenticity in me. Everywhere we go, she's boosting me. She's complimenting me. She's, you know, thanking me like, oh, thank you for being here. Thank you for this, thank you for this. Everything and everything. And, and I came from people who constantly beat me down constantly beat me down everything i did was wrong i couldn't do no right everything i did was either left or right but it was never right it was never centered you know um and just you know hearing from somebody else that like actually girl you're more than okay you're the shit means so much like it, i've been been really getting back on coffee's frequency and i've had nothing but love come back to me because that's all I've been giving out. I've hopped back into my authenticity. My authentic self isn't negative. My authentic self isn't a basic bitch. My authentic self isn't somebody who inspires off of, uh, not even inspire, but who looks at others' pages and be like, oh, let me recreate this outfit. No. You know, Coffee is somebody who is 110% herself, a loving person, somebody who literally just wants to open up her arms and hug the world as a whole if she could you know and just hopping back into that and seeing the frequency and energy that i used to live off of made me appreciate it so much more that's why i'm here to preach to y'all and tell y'all please if there's nothing else that you can do in this world be authentic be who you are if you are an anime lover love it post it be proud about it be open about it because I promise you, somebody else is going to pass by you that loves anime just as much as you. That wants to go to every Dragon Con that you want to go to. That wants to dress up as anime characters on Halloween. That wants to sit up and binge watch anime series over and over. They're, your people is going to come. What you dish out is what you get back. If you dish out somebody who is not you, you're going to get somebody who is not for you back. But if you dish out yourself your authentic frequency god ain't got no other choice but to return that right back to you and not only that with you being authentic in yourself and with you being authentic in just everything that you do <laughs> you're going to appreciate and love yourself 110 percent more i promise you i promise you you're going to re-fall in love with yourself every day because the people around you love you for you do you hear me if somebody comes around you and they don't like who you are they're not for you i don't say that a million times and i'm gonna say it again they not for you and that is okay if you have to sit alone i had to sit alone before i was able to find you know somebody who truly just feeds to me and i'm able to feed back to them they're able to pour in my cup and i'm able to pour in their cup you know i had to sit alone for a little minute and figure out who I was. You can't figure out who y'all are if you goddamn around everybody all the time. Get what I mean? You can't figure out who y'all are if you don't sit down and try to figure out who you are. If you always in somebody else's face, if you always live in somebody else's life, you're never gonna find your life. You're never gonna find who you are. So once I stop doing that dumb shit like when i say i woke up every day and literally waited for this man to like basically like make my plans for the day and then if if he's like ignoring me or he's just like making other plans around me or whatever like i would just sit in my bed and cry like bitch what get up like are you crazy like bro you are the shit you're raw you got talent you have plans you're trying to be goals motivations dreams aspirations girl get to them you know and once i hop back into that I've never in my life, y'all, felt so free. I feel so good within myself. I wake up in the morning and be like, ooh, you so fine. Before, I used to be like, ugh. But that's because I wasn't being who I, who I am. Be who you are. God made one of you. And the only person who could be you is you. 
Do you hear me? The only person who could be you is you. The only person who could be coffee is coffee. You can never outdo the doer, baby. So remind yourselves every time you sit in there overthinking like, damn, should I have said that? Or damn, should I have not done that? Was that weird? Who cares? If it's you, rock it. So rock it. Feel me? If it's you, be it. And if they're made for you, they're going to love you. They're going to boost you. And they're going to support you. And they're going to stay. And if they're not for you, the only thing they can do is try to bring you down. So fuck them folk. And you know what I'm saying? Fuck them folk. They ain't talking about nothing. They're not talking about nothing. That's the problem. I was listening to people who wasn't talking about nothing, boy. When I say nothing, I'm talking about like squat, diddly, jack, bullshit, boy. Like, no. So it's and 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 embrace yourself, bro. I love authentic people. I love when I walk outside and I see somebody wearing some wonky stuff. Love when I walk outside and I see somebody in a hairstyle that I ain't never seen before. Love when I walk outside and I see somebody just just being them, singing, dancing, expressing themselves. It's the most beautiful thing ever because can't nobody else be you but you. So watching somebody be themselves is like, whoa. This is different. Mr. Morales, this is different. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Do more, 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 more. You know what I'm saying? And then soon, you'll find yourself that the only people that come around you is people who is themselves as well. <laughs> it's so crazy. Like, I promise y'all, like, when I wasn't being myself, I literally was surrounded by people who also wasn't being themselves. Like, they literally are. Everybody is putting on a persona. And as soon as I started, like, getting back into the groove of coffee, like, being myself again, because, baby, I was myself before him. During him, I wasn't, but after him, I am. Get what I mean? And girl, now that I'm like back in my vibe, when I say the people who be coming by me be so raw, like, you know, y'all know Alyssa, so I'm gonna speak on Alyssa. Alyssa's so raw, G. Like, that girl is herself to the T. And even her most annoying moments, I appreciate them because they're her. And that's what I'm talking about. If the people, around you really love you they really care for you they really want to see you do big teams they're gonna love you good bad ugly wop 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 do you hear me they're gonna love you when you sad they're gonna love you when you happy they're gonna love you when you mad they're gonna love you when you aesthetic they're gonna love you when you depressed just the same they're gonna love you when you freaking up and successful those are the people you want around you because at the end of the day all of your avenues are you your yin and your yang equal a full circle of you if somebody can't love your yang, they can't love your yin. So finding people that understand me and work with me and are patient with me and, you know, like just try to understand me and love my authenticism. So therefore I can love their authenticism. And then therefore we can just be like authentic together, you know, authentic together is the most beautiful thing in the world. And I will forever preach to everybody, girl. Who cares if you think that you the weirdest motherfucker? Be the weirdest bitch. If you, got, if you gonna be weird, be the weirdest. If you gonna be bad, be the baddest. If you gonna be lit, be the littest. If you gonna be sad, be the saddest. Fuck it, sad girl hours. If that's you, be it. Cause can't nobody else rock you but you. If you gonna make weird, wonky, off the wall music, Make it, make it Sally, feel me? Love you, be you, therefore you can attract what's for you, please. Like, I cannot express that enough. Be you, therefore you can attract what's for you. If you are not being yourself, you're gonna attract stuff that is not for you. But look at that nail though, wow. But yeah, y'all. Like, it, it, I cannot express this enough. I cannot express this enough. I love you. I love me. I love we. Whoever you are and whatever you are. I don't even care if you're a stripper. Who cares? If you like, you know what I'm saying, being on that pole and making that money, do your biggest, boo. Do your biggest. If you like traveling, go travel. If you like sewing, go sew. If you like making freaking like clay pottery paints, go make them. Be you. I love y'all. Coffee signing out. <laughs>
so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you like comment share and subscribe period make sure to get in on them these are the nails i hope y'all was able to walk away with something girl you know what i'm saying but with that being said coffee beans it's time for me to brawn out of here and i'm gonna call y'all back later Mwah. Mwah.